Welcome to Jack Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure database mail in SQL Server. If you ever wanted to send email from SQL Server to outside world or in your organization, you need to configure database mail in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways to do it. One is using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other is using T-SQL script. A um, few things I wanted to mention. In my case, I do not have uh, exchange um, um, server so I'll be using Gmail SMTP server so the address for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com and port number is 587 in uh, case of exchange you will have port number 25 or whatever your SMTP relay the port number you're using the other thing that we need is valid email address in your organization case it needs to be a valid email address in your active directory or your exchange server so it would be um, in my case it will be gmail valid account again the account credential is needed um, in my case because I'm using gmail account and password needs to be there and also the secure socket link needs to be enabled because gmail will not accept in secure emails so let's go ahead and do that here's my SQL server I'm connected with my SQL server and in order to go and configure your uh, DB mail you need to expand the SQL Server uh, instance up here and then management if you expand the management you will see DB server right here so um, using SQL Server management studio graphic user interface let's go ahead and do that you need to right click and click on configure database mail when you click on that and this is the first message that you will get the wizard will start it will help you to configure database mail you can skip it and I'm going to skip it if your data uh, a SQL server instance is not configured for database mail database mail it is going to give you a, a message that uh, your instance is not configured uh, for database mail would you like to configure all you need to do is click yes so I'm going to go ahead and it's going to be brand new set up database mail by performing the following tasks so I'm going to go ahead and select that option and click next and first thing that you need to do is create profile and then you need to create an account and after you create profile and account you need to basically match those you need to basically basically associate your profile name with an existing account in order for it to work so what I'm I'm going to do profile name would be tech brothers in my case and description is email notification from SQL server TBS client so this is I'm just putting description whatever you wanted to put the description you can so next thing is we're going to configure SMTP account so I'm going to go ahead and click add first thing that you need to give account name this is uh, you, you don't have to put your email address here you can go ahead and just use whatever you would like to use for account name and I'm going to go ahead and do description the same thing and email address just for this demo purposes you should always put a description that's meaningful to your organization or to you so uh, the email address this is where you put your email address valid email address in my case is tech brother sql age gmail.com display name I would like to keep it tech brothers and reply email you can go ahead and do not reply at gmail account or whatever if you would like to keep the reply this one you can go ahead and put the same email address up here where it says server name that's that's where you need to put address put the address of your SMTP so I'm going to go ahead SMTP dot gmail dot com I'm using gmail SMTP relay so I'm going to go ahead and do that and up here as I mentioned right here that port port is 487 so we need to give the port number right here 587 I'm sorry 
and we need to click on this SQL uh, this server requires a secure connection because uh, in my case the Gmail would not work without it clicking so it always accept the secure connections basic authentication in your organization you do not really need to configure this you can you can go ahead and use anonymous authentication or you can configure the windows authentication using using database engine service credential which is your sql server client uh, sql server uh, credential i would say that um, uh, don't uh, configure basic authentication uh, right here because uh, let's say that uh, if unless you have that account that is always being used from sql server to others valid account uh, I would always keep it um, anonymous authentication in your organization but in my case it's going to be a valid account so I'm going to go ahead and put username which is tech brothers sequel age at gmail.com this is my valid account and then you need to give correct password right here so I'm going to type my password confirm the password keep in mind that this needs to be uh, a right password because it will not tell you in log file if this is uh, going to be the issue that okay the password was wrong uh, in Gmail case if you're configuring Gmail if you're using this video to configure your Gmail which you can uh, keep in mind that uh, please make sure that this password is right so we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see that it is configured all we need to do is go ahead and click next and which profile that you wanted to use I have uh, two profiles one we just created tech brothers and other is right here we're gonna go ahead and use this one and make it uh, our default profile since this is the one that we just configured so we're gonna go ahead and click next and we're gonna click next this is just the account attempts and all that setting if you want to tweak those settings you can click next and click finish as you can see right here everything is finished so we're gonna go ahead and click close and now since we configured everything we're ready to send an email so we're gonna go ahead and send a test email and to you can send to yourself and I'm going to send it to Tech Brothers SQL Age just to see that if this test email work demo email I'm going to do that this is my subject and we will check in a few seconds this email should be there so we're gonna go ahead and click send email click OK and let's go and take a look let's open Gmail right here okay as you can see demo email right here it's sent and it came from this is a test email sent from database mail on TBS client SQL mirror server so this was successful we're gonna go ahead and delete these accounts and this is how you delete it you right click and click on configure database and we're going to go ahead and click on manage first time when you set it up you click on setup and then if you need to delete or change anything you click on manage database mail account and profile click next first thing keep in mind if you wanted to delete you need to delete the profile first because that profile is associated with the account you cannot go ahead directly delete the um, account so always you need to go ahead and delete the profile which is right here I'm going to go ahead and delete this profile click yes next and finish we need to do one more time to delete the account so I'll follow the same steps view change or delete existing account this is existing account we're gonna go ahead and 
delete it, next, and finish. All right, now we don't have our database mail configured, no account. Uh, we do have another profile in this demo, but that profile is not being associated with any account because we don't have any account. So let's go ahead and do the same thing using T-SQL script. I'm going to go ahead and load my script. All right. The first thing that uh, I show uh, in the beginning uh, of this demo, I, I, I sh um, told you that if... Um, if your instance is not configured for database mail, the first thing it'll ask you that do you want to configure it or not. It needs to be configured before you can basically configure database mail. So right here, this is the um, T-SQL script that will configure your uh, uh, database mail. So um, we're going to go ahead and run this. If it's configured, that's good. If it's not configured, it's going to go ahead and configure that. The other up here that is going to, second option is going to go ahead and create the profile for us. So we're going to go ahead and, and this is T-SQL for creating the profile. And then it's going to go ahead and create the account right here. As you can see that it, account name is this, email address. We did all that in graphic user interface. And this is the port number right here. And uh, up here, the password. Keep in mind if you're using my script, you need to go back or provide your password right here if you're configuring Gmail. So you need to put a right password. I'm going to go ahead and leave this password and then I'll go back and configure the password before we test this, um, uh, this setup. So after that, you need to associate the account with the profile that you wanted to use. So we're gonna go ahead and associate that. So let's go ahead and run this whole script. All right, as you can see, that configure option was always one. If it would be zero, it would be converted from zero to one. So d database mail is configured. That's the only message we got. And then we have uh, a profile created. If you right click and click on send test mail, it should bring the database uh, profile name up here and subject is test. And then we're going to go ahead and provide the same email. And we're going to put a subject T SQL script T SQL DB mail so that we will distinguish that. We're not going to send it right now because my password is not right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to go ahead and click on configure manage account. So I'm going to go ahead right here. Right here is my password. So I'm going to put a right password. Otherwise it would have failed. All right, I put the password, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off, close. And now we're ready, basically, to send a test email. So I'm going to go ahead and techbrothersqlh, gmail.com, and tsql script, db mail. So that's our just a subject. We're going to go ahead and click send, click OK. Keep in mind if you're configuring um, Gmail, if you don't really get the Gmail account, um, the, uh, the email in your Gmail account, you need to click on view log. Right here, there is a right, uh, you will have uh, some messages right here, but it's uh, in case of Gmail, it's quite um, confusing. It wouldn't really tell you what exactly the issue is. It will tell you the authentication failure, which means that either your password is not right or your account is not right in terms of uh, Gmail. So we're going to go ahead and check our Gmail. All right, we got the email as, as it showed right here, T SQL script database mail. 
So basically, this is how you um, configure DB Mail in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T SQL script. I hope this video helps.